Uh, he trained quite a few people, so I grew up doing the same thing he did, swinging off the bags and getting bashed by the older guys, and <laughs> sort of stuff like that. Um, what just said, Adicure, What's the hardest fight that you've had to that you've had to watch for when you've watched Jai fight? The hardest one so for um, you as a coach and and as a coach. Let, let's do let's segment it like this as a coach and then as a dad oh yeah yeah i think it would have been um the olympic games when he fought at the olympic games he fought them he got german and uh, nah, he was uh, from uh, kazakhstan yeah, or something. Uh, Azerbaijan or yeah something. and so when he went there he got drew and they all drew whatever pulled out that he drew the number one in the world at the time so um he rings me up and said oh we've got the number one I said, you're at the Olympics, mate. They're all fucking number one. It doesn't really matter. And um, the way he fought, um, he should have won it, I reckon. Well, I don't know, we're all biased, but a lot of people reckon... I've seen the won. fight. I couldn't remember where the guy Yeah, yeah. He should have won it, really. But um, I think it was hard because he, he knew he put so... It was a draw him. after the first two rounds, eh? That's right. Yeah. And in the last round, he went out harder in the last round, and they still gave it to him. So... Um, I think it was hard because he put so much into it. And as a, was that it was hard as a dad or hard as a coach? Both, as a coach as well. And because um, when you go to the AIS, uh, as a coach, what we were doing, we were doing exactly the same as what they were doing at the AIS. We had sponsors paying for our physio and um, strength and conditioning, and so we weren't. There was not too much they were doing different from what we were doing. So they had, they had you had to move into the AIS. Yeah, sorry, yeah, what one's Dave, is the volume all right with with top? No, probably just yeah, can it be closer? Yeah, because it can't oh, yeah, you won't hear it, then people went, Oh, you can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah, so he um so they had to take him away and they had to join a team, but as you know, boxing's really not a team thing like football. So uh yeah, when I seen him um sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so when I seen him lose, I was um, disappointed with the coaches didn't pick it up, not picking up the way he was um, fighting and all that sort of stuff. But um, what, was it an overestimation of the other opponent, or an underestimation of Joy, or both, or how did you feel, Joy? Like, but how did you guys feel about that? I sort of know what my dad. You, you, sorry, from. just to give context, you were the youngest person from Australia to ever mm. qualify for for the Olympics yeah. at sixteen years old. Yeah. So yeah, he qualified at sixteen and turned seventeen two weeks before we walked into the village. Yeah, yeah. So I think most of it for him was just uh, uh, I was I'm here. Why did yeah? I, I, I really definitely didn't take it in. Eh? I didn't I didn't soak it in because when I look back at it now, I'm like, wow, oh, you know, that's it's crazy. But when I was there, I was like, <clears throat> I don't know. I was just didn't yeah didn't soak it in. I was just there for a trip, another boxing yeah. tournament. Oh, now no, he was ready for it. Yeah. I thought he was ready for I was it. Him, yeah, but, yeah. Um, but then when he walked out, because I can read him and his body and his looks, I know when he's on and when he's off. And he was that pumped when he walked out. I knew he was going to fight wrong because he just was like, Yah! instead of boxing him, he went out and tried to brawl with him. And it was a good fight, but I, re I still reckon he won it. But yeah, that was my disappointment when, and the hardest, I think. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, I, just to give the credentials here, just to... Like I checked them with you earlier, but you were the AIBA Youth World Bronze Medalist, the world title holder um, as an amateur, the world youth cruiserweight uh, title holder, that's an IBF title, WBC Oriental and Pacific cruiserweight uh, champion, the Australian cruiserweight champion, Sorry. and the youngest Sorry. ever Australian Sorry. to compete in, in an Olympics. Yeah. Um, one of the questions, I guess, for both of you, because you, you're... <coughs> you 